Hello, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, who's here? Hey, checkmate. Hey, Matt. Oh, boy. Alrighty, so we're going to be starting um, our new story game tonight. Um, this game is, is like, really near and dear to my heart just because it's one of the first, like, really one of the first Let's Play um, series, like, of videos that I watched on YouTube ever. And, um... Yeah, I just fell in love with the story, the music. It's just like it'll definitely pull at your heartstrings. So um, I've only ever watched other people play it, so I'm excited to get my hands on it. And it has been a hot minute since I've seen the game too. Um, so again, <laughs> I watched PewDiePie play it, <laughs> um, like. I think he played this like 10 years ago when I first saw him. So I don't really remember everything. So yeah, no matter what, it's going to hit me hard. So I'm glad to have you guys here with me <laughs> as we go through it together. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. gets me every time. Excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Also, again, let me um, let me know if I need to do anything audio-wise. So, new game and everything. Oh, it got flattened. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. I also really love point and click games. <laughs> it's a big hand. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Okay. Oh. 
Tisk tisk. Ah, oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. Let's see, is there anything else I can... Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. <laughs> well, I mean, let me know where to go. Oh. The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh. How kind of it to exist. Hey, wait! Oh, wait. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Oh, this is so pretty. It'd be nice to live out in the... Like, just surrounded by nature like this. Oh, there's a rock. Hey, Gladius. I'm doing well. How are you? Starting a comfy stream today, so... Who, who put a boulder here? Aw, yeah, I'm glad you're doing well too, Matt. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> oh my gosh, who says that? Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Um, uh, abort mission and go home? No way. Doing pretty good. This keyboard's very nice. And I'm enjoying it a bit. I mean, a lot. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I know you mentioned that yesterday. Uh, you should be able to do that by hand, right? Alright, on three. One, two, three. They're gonna jack it with a tree branch? <laughs> wow. Um... I... I don't even... <laughs> what was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Yeah, new keyboards are lit. Mine's literally lit right now. <laughs> uh, we need to get going for now. We'll, we'll figure that thing out later. Yeah, I know, it was bad, whatever, you still laughed. Right. Oh. Oh, squirrel. Wait, can we sit? I'm not going to make him carry this big thing around. Oh, I used to know how to play this song. I need to relearn it. It was a pity chuckle. 
This model is very expensive, but I got it for a hundred dollars less at a local retailer. Oh dang! What a steal! Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, why is he walking backwards? I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Hmm. Yeah, it just goes to show you that it's good to do research. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, when I first got my, like, music and streaming stuff, I did a bunch of research when I got those. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Well, yeah, Gladius, that's fair. But at the same time, if that's expensive equipment, you don't want... What if their entryway had steps and he missed them? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh, no. I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children. Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny. Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> For the record, I like night shift as IT. Wait, not sure who said something. But I think... Oh. Uh, I don't think that was me. At least, I, know, I remember we talked about it before, but... Yeah, I would rather work a 9 to 5. Because I, like, I'm a night owl, but I feel like most of my day is gone with the night shift. Uh, let's see, can we look around first? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I wanted to explore. Where are you going? Grab the box so we can head upstairs. Fine. Let's see. Yeah, 9 to 5 for me. I like the chill evening it gives me. Yeah, like I would rather start earlier in the day. That way I have more of my day after. <laughs> That's not work. 
Yeah, Matt, exactly. That proves that you need to sleep more. <laughs> All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. I got shit to do. That's fair. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Oh, that's so cute. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Oh, I love the song so much. <sighs> I'm not going to cry. We just started. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteorite. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh. Oh, the music stopped. So much shit and not enough date spills out of the sides of the toilets. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Oh. Ready to set up? Um, I'm going to run first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> okay, you know what? I like to look around. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Hmm. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Oh. I wonder who's in that picture. What's Yik up to? <laughs> um, last I left him, he was watching Dragon Ball S Super. <laughs> I was watching a little bit with him. It's so hype. A selection of readings from medical journals. Hmm. Oh, just the bathroom. Wait, it's glowing. Oh, just <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's anything. All right. Anime, you call him a weeb. Well, I guess you call me a weeb too because I was watching it with him. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Ah, oh, Con Gal, you're a genius. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh, crap. 
standard procedures, just keep you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you too can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. We're all little weebs. We're gamers. Yeah, exactly. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. Not me, I'm built different? Oh, whatever. No, you recommended that one anime. It was like, um, I wrote it down. Shoot, it was like Hakume and Michi. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he's signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Um, I want to be Rosaline. Oh, dang, that would suck if that's where you got your virus. Thanks for, y for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right. Do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Okay. Let's see, Ray. We already looked up here. Wait. Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Oh? Here, take this. Oh, a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Oh, God. Wait, how do I get to the... Oh. Oh... Oh, oh, man. I'm already getting sad. Okay. Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Traversal Agent. Oh, wait, save. I haven't saved yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I hope you get that stuff figured out, Gladius. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, so pretty. What you want? Um, well, I don't need them. I can just look around myself. Then quit bothering. Okay. It's just, just a bathroom. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, better ask those kids first. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it in there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves, too. All right, I'll go get it. The kitchen's door the kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Okay. Now where's the kitchen? <laughs> There's that candy cane. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe if we grab this? Yeah. Might as well get that candy cane for them while I'm here. What? What? Okay, there we go. Terrible calories. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think that's it for here. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Oh, <laughs> they immediately stopped. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay. Um... Ooh. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. 
I don't like the funny room either. There's all these latex clothes. What the heck? Gladius. Aw, there's a little art studio back here. Oh. Almost stepped on the paint. Desk. Oh my. Dusk light? <laughs> That's like twilight. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Oh man, this is definitely 10 years ago. <laughs> Back when Twilight was popular. <laughs> Read passage. Hey, Bagel. Oof. Read passage? Uh, maybe another year. He chose its hiding spot well. <laughs> yeah, because no one would read that. Okay. Got the key. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Ha! <laughs> okay. Just a bunch of books in here. They have nothing I don't know about. Wait, yeah. I don't know about, though. <laughs> wow, what the fuck, Tommy? I wonder if Johnny has actually read all these books. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Oh, spoopy. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Mm, what else is in here? Chest is locked. We used to find all kinds of junk- of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Why'd he just sniff? Okay. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. Oh my god. Dang, these kids are so blunt. Who down here eating cheese? <laughs> The door to the funny room's right there. Wow, what the fuck, Sarah? I like cheese, just had dinner. Ooh, yummy. Oh, damn, there's a lot of locked chests down here. Boxes filled with colored papers. The cabinet's filled with unused fine china. Yeah, that's how siblings are sometimes. Oh, no, no! Ah, uh, buffalo, barbecue, pork mac, and cheese. That sounds amazing. Oh. It's open. It's like a cave in here. Oh. Uh, why is there a room? With Wait, are those stuffed are those stuffed bunnies or is that 
paper. Aw, oh, shoot. Aw. How am I supposed to take a screenshot? Aw, oh, man. No. I've lost my sc screenshot. Fine, let's take a picture on my phone. Oh yeah, I do have the print screen button. Okay. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Poke it. Oh! It's flat! Sit it up. Uh, should I take it? Uh, it feels weird to take it. A broken music box. A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh, it's origami. Uh. Well, I can't walk around, so I guess I have to take this then. Okay. Huh. Well. That was cool. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. Oh, God. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Oh... Oh, crap. Oh, it's like, should we stay and wait for the machine to boot up? Or if we go see the lighthouse, we could learn more about Johnny and how to help him. We are right, going to alert me back later. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, man. I'm worried this is going to affect the story. A choice will make a character die. Uh, oh, man. I <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't remember if choices matter. Um, Wait, can I... Oh wait, dang it. I try to save, but I guess I I did choose Wait, actually I don't know which one I chose. I pushed the escape key. Well, if Johnny's the one who put the rabbits there, I'll probably run into it inside his memories anyway. Let's go upstairs and see if Neil's done with configuring the machine. Um, dang it. Now I kind of want to go to the lighthouse. Oh, uh, that's gonna bug me. <laughs> oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. 
Okay. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Okay. All right. Here we go. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your, view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Oh, uh, that's cool. You can see all throughout his life. A song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Ah, oh, doesn't have to be fancy to sound pretty. Oh, what the? Looks like this part's ripped. Can't even go into the kitchen. can't go to the basement either. Hmm. Oh wait, let's see. Now can we go to the lighthouse? Okay, a kid said it was at the bottom of the hill. Oh, wait. Did we pass it? Dang. So it's just like fragmented memories. This is all he remembers to the point where he was bedridden. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name's Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh. 
We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Uh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. Oh my god. Oh, I hate how insensitive he is. Jeez. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame, the money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we'll need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. <laughs> yeah, Gladius. He's a butthead. What you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we'll return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I'll cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that's of um, that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? Oh, it's another origami bunny. That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Whoa, what? Click the orbs to flip pieces. Oh. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Wait, what about my privacy? Well, try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a platypus. Hmm. 
Turn off visibility and, and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Oh. Hydrate. Dang, that piano slam scared me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, green dude. I just okay, I'll only take this one more sip. And also audio still sounds good to everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, spare some change. Wait, shoot. Should be it would be better to get the change first. <laughs> He's full for now. Alright, thanks, green dude. Okay, anyway, quit blabbering and find a, me a memento here to hop from. Let's see. Interact with the objects to establish five memory links. Oh, well, there's that bunny again. Multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. Okay, I need more mementos. Clock is moving, but soundless. An old and patched up backpack. What is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out.
The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Heh, <sighs> I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. Mm, one more. Fresh wildflowers. Oh. Got everything. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I go crazy. Don't tempt me. Okay, let's go back to that umbrella downstairs. <laughs> Hadouken! What the heck was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. <laughs> Prepare. Umbrella. Let's see, the corner orb can flip the entire diagonal. So... Oh, wait, crap, I messed it up. Alright. Oh, wait, what? Okay, cool. I hope the number of times I do it doesn't affect anything. Went back a little bit. Oh, he always, he always has that platypus with him. When it comes to rain, through is better than on to. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. Hmm. Need to save. Ah, oh, let's see. How's Johnny doing? Okay, looks like he still has a, a steady heartbeat. Hey, Twitchy. Yeah, I am all cozy in a blankie. This is like a late, comfy stream. Hope you had a good day. Aw, Twitchy! <laughs> Dang, okay. You make me uncover and everything. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna keep my blanket on though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Where are our mementos here? Yeah, that's a good point, Twitchy. An old stuffed toy platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has a right to exist. The world's not big enough for two of you. <laughs> oh, dang. Can't go in there quite yet. saying GM is literally winning 5D chess. Okay. Hmm, is there a third memory somewhere? Oh. Oh, a memory of River E. Wiles. Oh. Is that a gravestone? I couldn't tell. No. Oh. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you, too. But when I'm gone... Who's going to watch over us? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Eva made herself visible. Who are you? My name's Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... He wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Oh. <laughs> Look at our notes. Someone, yeah, Anya. Someone John and River cared for.
About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. Huh. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. <sighs> Jeez, what a jerk. Okay, whatever. I don't need you. Okay. What is that? Wait, what's right next to it? Broken lighthouse lamp. What are you up to, Twitchy? Oh yeah, Twitchy, I hope you're at home and not at work still. Because I know you've had to work late nights before. Oh, Johnny. Oh, oh my gosh, my heart. Oh, what? Clicking off screen counted as one? Oh, well, worked out. <laughs> okay. Oh, Johnny. Oh, is that river? <clears throat> Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't worry. White lie. That's what you call it. Right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just... Hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visitor. Speak to her. Comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy.
Johnny? Yes. I made this. Oh. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. We kept all of them. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called For River. Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. Who is this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey! That's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? Oh wait, you know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You wanna hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? What? I wanna stay and explore. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. the book man the way Eva was staring I wonder if Anya is the platypus because I honestly don't remember A mixed dough. <laughs> the pickled olives. Someone really likes these. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. Oh. You know what? This means that much to you. I'll pay for the professionals to do this. 
I can't help save it. I can't help saving that house for you. So this is the least I can do. Oh. Step twice in the river? Uh, oh, wait, shoot. Now that messes that corner up. Dang, I just made this so much worse. Uh, okay, there we go. That's better. Finally. <sighs> huh. Look what we have here. Oh, it's the house. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. What's up, Gladius? But the medical bills... I just checked Twitter and apparently Chainsaw Man Part 2 is releasing tomorrow? Oh, snap! Dang, I feel like it just came out. Yeah, that, that's another thing on our list to watch. Hey, Blake out. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, 
but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I am... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. See, the anime is out. Yeah, but part one of the manga finished a little while ago. Oh, for some reason I thought the, the anime was out already. I just remember seeing the trailer or something of it, and it looked really cool. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure what she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Oh, this is getting serious. Sorry if I'm not reading chat. Yeah, I wish it was out too. Oh my gosh, I remember seeing the trailer for it and like some like manga panels and it looks so detailed. Oh, it's the music box. I think it was broken in current time. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Can we walk in the house? Oh. See how far Okay. Oh. Oh, can't go talk to, or like see what he's doing.
Okay. Did it and the ideal moves. Okay. I wonder who Izzy is. Oh, well, about to find out. Oh, I just love this main theme that's going throughout the game in different variations. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze, we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Oh, they're so cute. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Uh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Huh, so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So, how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yeah, lots of them. Huh, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Oh, what? Yeah, I remember her being sick, but I can't remember what it was that she had. Have you asked Isabel? Yeah, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, some, 
something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Hmm. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey yo, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure. Cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Hey, you're so getting resetted. <laughs> hey there, can I get you anything? Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. I was about to say this isn't this is just in his memory, so he's not gonna get any money. Hurry up already. I don't want to be stuck here. Why? Is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lo lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation. Now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, ho. Ah. <clears throat> uh. You okay there? Uh. Yeah, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can understand how anyone could ugh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. You've got two bottles left. <laughs> oh, serves him right for being rude earlier. So I said, hey, that's not right. And I totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally. Dear Lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Wait. Don't you dare. Don't worry. Sheesh. See? I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. I like how he always looks at 
us. Um, okay, let's see, what is this? Wait, is that clear there? Yeah, it is. It's kind of confusing. Aw, oh, dang it, I meant to go this way. Oh, wait, well, it worked out. Okay, Johnny, still good? Okay. Let's see, Fur River, a song Johnny wrote for his deceased wife. Its title is a placeholder. Too easy. <laughs> Yeah, for now. Oh, what is that? Hmm, wonder if that's a deed. Oh, she had red hair. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're on top. Crikey, nutcrackers. You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on this damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place... <laughs> Eva, what the fu... Wes. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Don't look under the light at house. Oh god, what was the name of that movie? It had, like, Robert Pattinson and William Defoe, I think? God, that movie was so creepy. Look, River. Oh, it was just called the lighthouse. Oh, okay. This place means a lot to me too. And I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but we'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Oh, they're so cute. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. 
the important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. I guess it's a more condensed title than Homoerotic homo Rock Nightmare. Yeah, I don't know how that title would do in the theater lineup. So how far are we? Oh, okay. No. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Aww. Dang. So River wanted him to save the money to repair the lighthouse instead of her medical bills. Oh. Dang. That would be hard. Can we follow them? Oh. fast. We have to find the memento still for- oh. There's a little bunny. Wait, is there anything? Yep, looks like that's it. Is that the only corner I can do? Dang it. Well, that screwed it up. Okay.
Hmm. I wonder what incident happened. River? Hmm, let's see. Now we're like... Like, middle age, Johnny? Yellow paper rabbit. Dear lord, not again. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. Oh. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And... Well, it's... Just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, she looks so sad. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. What? Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, she cut her own hair? What? Hmm. Like, I wonder if she has, like, like, some kind of, like, intellectual disability, maybe? Or, like, something earlier on triggered something. Oh, she looks so sad.
So this is the day she started it, huh? Oh, the platypus is the memento again. was easy. What the? Is it inside the car? supposed to be able to see in there <laughs> man it's so warm in here and just doing work is getting me sleepy oh oh yeah because you just started your day didn't you oof No, I started a while ago. I got three hours left to go. Oh, awesome. That's good. Like, I always appreciate it when you guys, like, are able to tune in during your work days. I think that's really cool. I barely saw those stairs. God, I would love to live surrounded by all this nature. It would be so peaceful. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really. What is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. Okay, so we'll just work our way down. No, look at them. Is that why you approached me back then?
Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but as you said, I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Well, what is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Oh, dang, did she try to jump off after it? Aw, that's her bag. Oh wait, oops, I'm not dead. Oh, let's just see it's the same place. Oh, there's still one more. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Oh. Hmm. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Oh, she's in he's her she's over here in the corner. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. Oh, yeah, I bet that's what it is. Some type of, like, intellectual... She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. 
That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practi practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabella that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Hmm. Huh. I've never met a woman with it before. Then, technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Hmm. Just gonna go talk to her. Oh. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. Hey, I've read those. Like, I also remember kind of being scared of the Animorph books, just because some of the transformations looked a little disturbing. <laughs> I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. What are they? I've only seen the covers. Oh, um, I mean, that's basically it. Like, they, they're just, like, kids who are able to transform into different animals. So, I honestly don't remember much of the plot. I just remember that much. <laughs> yeah, so that's how much of, a of an effect, of an impact they had on me. <laughs> Heh, <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. Oh. 
I think I'm going to get this one. Dang. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I still have some of my kids' books because it just brings back good memories. She's trying. She got the Animorph book about the birds and the bees. No. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine. Hey, River. This one's not that corny. River? The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Hmm. Oh. Tobias Hawk. Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Dang, she remembered all that? But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, oh, that's to answer this kid's question. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yeah. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animals David's main morph? Um. Oh, crap. I already forget. Oh, what was it? Ah, uh, Shoot. Were any of you guys paying attention or remember? <laughs> uh, wait, I wonder if I can go back. Was it a cobra? Oh, uh, I remember cobra. Wait, let's try this. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Just went by so way. I think it's Cobra. Oh, yeah, I got it right. Okay. <sighs> oh, yeah, Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers inside of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Too easy. <laughs> Perhaps I should reread them after all. I can barely recall a thing from that series. Wait, can I go in here? Dang it. Everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. 
Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go say your childish jabs for the insecure. Hey, Blanco, how are you? Are you still at work? Oh, you just got home? Sweet. Animorphs book. More pickled olives. I see Le Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. <laughs> Damn, they must have been together a really long time. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. Aw, this really got married? No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Okay, yeah, we're like in his younger adult years now. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Aw, her dress is so pretty. Aww. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. 
Don't worry. Just follow my steps. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Ow, my ass. <laughs> I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on. Let's try again. <laughs> Aww. Oh wow, they stayed there a long time. Has this been so far? Oh, I love it. This is one of my favorite games. Like, I first watched PewDiePie play this like 10 years back. Um, so yeah, I've known about this game for a while, but I've never actually played it myself. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Yay! Yeah, I'm glad you're able to relax after work. Ah, the wedding. Uh, yeah. What did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Let's see, you got two more hours to the end of work. Oh, going to a meeting soon? Well, at least you only got two more hours. Come on. Let's find a way to get out of here. Oh, you get to work from home, too? That's good. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off, too, huh? No, I... I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Dang, do you not agree with their wedding? Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. Oh. How come you never told me about it? Cause I'd rather you call me John. 
Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? Hopefully my Discord worked. I want to hang with the homies. Aww. I'm sorry, Gladius. I really hope that gets better for you. Most of my homies are in bed. Yeah. Having friends in different time zones can be hard sometimes. I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Hmm. Okay, got one more. Joey. Hmm. I'm so proud of Joey. Hmm. Is that a rabbit? Is that why she makes rabbits? Oh, no. Oh my god, the memento is the dead rabbit. Oh, man. I can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait. Is that a rabbit? I think this is a source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You... Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm, I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Hmm. Dang, I also feel bad for Cole. I was playing Deep Rock Galactic with him. Aw. Well, I mean, he knows that... Like, he was filled in about what happened, so... There's no hard feelings there. Yeah, he wanted to make sure you were okay, because he was asking around. see it up close oh, I haven't played deep rock in so long oh I've actually been wanting to play it because I got it recently from the summer sale Like, Stick, act, um, Stick showed me some videos, and I didn't realize how scary that game can be. Like, the spiders that are in there. He told me that apparently they're a really common, like, creature you see, and they leave. Oh, it looks so creepy. Meeting time, be back soon. Okay. Catch you around, Gladius. Wait, I'm sorry, what WTF was that? Oh, wait, did you not hear me talk about the spider? That's literally the enemy 
I know, but you know I don't like spiders. <sighs> okay. Oh, the rabbit puzzle thing. So, um, yeah, like, one of the things in this game is that we have to find different mementos to, like, travel through um, our patient Johnny's memories. Because basically this game is about two scientists. They help people who are, like, on their deathbeds fulfill their last wish before they die. And so... Johnny is who we're helping, and he wants to be able to go to the moon. So, yeah, there are different mementos, and we have to put them together in order to travel through his memories. So, that's what the puzzle thing is. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see it get run over. Dang. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Oh, well, nothing that way. <gasps> Horse? Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse. What are you? Five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh, crap. That can't be good. Ah, do something. Don't just stand there. Help me. Okay, I thought the horse had the same fate as the rabbit. Oh, no. Damn it. This was not... Oh, Adapter Trap. Thanks so much for the follow. Welcome in. I'm glad the horse moved. Yeah, me too. Damn it, this was not in the job description. Oh, he's <laughs> like how he's face palming. Wait, let's see. Uh, I like how his description is village idiot. All right. Man, I want to ride a horse. That's something I need to do in real life, too. Dang, where did he go? Oh. <gasps> Aww. Wait, how far is this? Okay, it's still like they're young. Yeah, like young adult. Yeah. Aww. Oh my god. Wait, can I ride one too? Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. 
I'm not a child. Oh. Ah! Ah! River! Oh, snap. Oh, so cute. What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. Aw. Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Eva! <laughs> this is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Better go save his bum. <laughs> oh. Oh, crap. Okay. Guess I'm just doing this for a little bit. Aww. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like this little carefree moment. Oh my, what? Oh. Thanks! Ow. Hey, I found something here. What the, where did you land? Oh. Here. This memento this memento will do. You'll have to line it up carefully with that horse though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. What? Oh, am I supposed to jump over it? Uh, I don't think I can jump. Oh. Oh crap, well there's still two more I need to find. Probably wherever they went to. Aww. Oh, I don't want to leave this memory. It's so happy. So smart. Hmm. Oh, looks like this is a, an appointment. Is a diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Oh... How do you know when you were a child, miss? It could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it for f you can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. 
Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal aff affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in their relationship? No. And you, sir? No. That's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? Why wouldn't you want to understand? Because it could... Like, if the more you know could help her, that way she maybe doesn't feel as alone. Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equi equine therapy that might help her. A branch just... Oh, equine. Like the horse, yeah. A branch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Hmm. Oh, there's the platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Oh, what's wrong with the platypus? Oh, there's the purse. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. Oh, that's why all the clocks in his house didn't make a sound. Aww. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the one in the house. Mm. Yeah, clock ticking, something River can't stand. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Mm, oh, shoot. Tony Atwood. The author of a series of books on River's condition. Oh wait, shoot, there's still one more thing I need to find. Oh, there, maybe that. A plain tawny handbag. Oh, 
boy. Okay. Uh... Yay, I'm so good. Okay. Oh. Aw, this is when they're little. Kids. Okay. Look, I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Yeah, that was a big jump. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kids in the theater are by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how can anyone last through this rubbish? Aww. Oh, I wonder if he was waiting for River, maybe. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Oh. Well, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. That's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. I still ain't talking to no emo teenager. Johnny's still good. Oh, what the? That's kind of creepy. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. Oh, crap. I didn't know what's removing them. Um... I thought that was helping me find someone. Oh. Yeah, well, this one is all shadowed out. Is this important? Nope. Oh. Getting stood up? Now that's a Kodak moment. No. You relate well with your kin, I see. Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No. Aww. Hey, John, quit wasting time and leave him alone. Well... There's nothing here. 
Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. No. <gasps> oh, there she is. Maybe she was in the wrong theater. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together, and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know where you were. Oh, She's so innocent. I mean, like, in her mind, like, she thought it was together because they were in the same room. But... If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. Young love, so well, not that bright at times. Yeah. Teenagers. It's crazy that they've known each other for so long. Ah ha 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 ha. What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. No. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Aw, there they are. Oh, she still has the platypus. Let's see. Okay, I think after one more memory, we're gonna end it for tonight. Let's so let's see how much more we'll learn. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. <laughs> hmm. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Oh, Nicholas, they've been childhood friends too. Um. It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know, and everyone will still think you're cool. But. What if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss! Or, 
or says yes but really means no. That is that is not worst case. Aw. Yeah, shoot your shot. Psh, quit worrying. Who would do that? I wonder if she throws an encyclopedia in my face. I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Ew is way worse. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, what are you... Shh. Oh, bye. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Aww. Hello. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then, why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? About platypus? No. Oh. I, uh... I think that's great. <laughs> Neil just face-palmed in the back. Lighthouses. Oh, she's liked lighthouses since she was little. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Fresno lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Whoa, it's a lot of big words. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Uh, um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay, I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There is no date or time. Oh, um, how about the Saturday at 8? Oh, well. Say yes, say yes. Eva, I think the system fro. Yeah. Oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Oh. Um, I'll just... Oh, God. <laughs> that was so awkward. But also kind of cute. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? It was in a cute way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. Oh, dang. Well, I think a platypus is cute. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? 
What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you. Go out. Me. You. Now. That's just terrible. I know. And it would have still been better than what you just did. Oh. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly I feel loved. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I like the face on that. Meh. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Why do we have to draw stupid barrels anyway? You could be drawing something a lot more awkward. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. Okay. Anyone? Oh. Oh, no. Anyone at all? Mm. Alright, then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. God, I hate it when teachers did that. Fine. I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frente, which was founded in 1322, and granted to Al Alvaro Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, is that so hard? Oh... Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their um, rote, rote memory is often fairly strong. Oh, well, here's Nicholas and Johnny. Psst, she's coming this way. Alt-tab, alt-tab. What? Lifesaver? Uh... Oh, he. I alt tab to see if it would actually do anything. Nope. Okay. Alt F4, Alt F4. Locked. Wait, what'd that say? 
Cafeteria only open during lunch hours. Oh. Hmm. Oh. That's a wrap. You chumps better be, uh, better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. Oh, dang it, four bars of memory. Oh. Uh, fine, you win. Booyah! <laughs> oh, running, running, running. It's lunchtime. Oh, there's that same knapsack. Oh no, she's sitting by herself. Oh, yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with, with that creepy deformed duck toy. 10 out of 10 kids are still mean. Yeah. Not a fun time. It's not a deformed duck toy. You're just not educated and know what kind of animal it is. That's not a deformed duck. That's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just... so... off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, wasn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. Facts, that's Perry the Platypus. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Phineas and Ferb. I used to have that song memorized, but I don't anymore. <laughs> the theme song for it. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Same, same. Yeah, like, I remember when I was younger watching that show, because I think... It's like, there's 104 days of summer vacation. And it's like, wait, 104 days? That's like three, like three and a half months. So I was like, wow, that actually kind of, that's like way longer than what we get. What the heck? Look, Nick. It used to be that long when I was a kid. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't remember it being that long. I feel like the longest was maybe like... Two and a half months? That's crazy. Yeah, I got shorter and shorter the older we got. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. 
Aw, that's a good way of putting it. So young, too. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you just be the same guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she is the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? Oh, that's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what Grandma's telling you. Oof. Yep, yeah, we said it at the same time, Blanco. Wait, so this guy is some kind of a human-hogging hipster? That's sort of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes we want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. This is high s- oh, yeah, they're teens. Everyone's a bastard. Monet, welcome to the club. Yeah. Wait, so this is what he told her about at that cliff? Oh, dude. Man, that is upsetting if he fell for her because of, like, because of, like, how she is, but not who she is. Uh, bruh. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Yikes. Ah, Johnny, what the heck, man? I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Aw. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough that I'm, I'm still in contact with some of my childhood friends. Like, one of them being like one of my best friends from kindergarten. We're still really close. Yep. She was my very first friend. See, step toy platypus. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. No, yeah. And she's like, a because at first, like, we were, like, we always talked about, like, no matter what, we would stay, like, um, in contact with each other. Because, like, we were worried about not being close. Because after high school, we went to different colleges, and then she actually moved a few times because of her job. But it's like, you know you have a really good friend when, like, no matter 
how much distance there is or like no matter like how often you talk when you do get back together it's like you're able to talk like nothing's happened so yeah it's really special and she's actually moved back into town um recently because of a new job position she got so we're able to see each other more often which is really cool Yeah, it's really cool. It must have left as a, a left. Bleh, it must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. No, no, it's not time for tears yet. Alright. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. Hmm, I bet he's gonna say something still. <gasps> oh my god, I was just thinking if he was gonna do this. <laughs> Kame! Oh, for Walnut's sake. Kame! <laughs> hey! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Not cool, Eva. You never freaking block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait. Do we get to do it again? Oh. Dang it. I was just talking about Dragon Ball Z earlier, too. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is way back in his childhood. Oh, let's see, am I able to save here? Dang it, I have to keep going. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy, growing up so fast. I read that in a New York accent. Yeah, I can see that. Ah, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in A. Joey, Dewey, Julie. <laughs> Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh yes, so jealous. Hmm. Okay, they can actually stop it here. Okay. He's still going strong. Let's see, alright. So we are... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're, like, very early. Aw, gooey baby. So small. Okay. Wait. Okay, I always have to save. Alright, is this going to take me to the title? Wait, nope. I just didn't want it to play sad music while I <laughs> said goodbye. Okay, I'll... Just to get to the main menu.
Ah, that's better. Oh, to the moon. All right. Yeah, we've like seen a decent chunk of Johnny's life so far. That's kind of a bummer finding out how he first fell in love with River. I'm hoping he like explains himself the more we learn <laughs> but yeah overall i'm i still really love the game like part of me wanted wanted to play it because it's really of the nostalgia factor because this is one of the first like video game playthroughs i watched on youtube and i've always wanted to be able to play it for myself and experience the story like um, playing through all of it myself and like with my friends so kind of nervous for what emotion bombs will hit but I'm glad I'll have you guys with me to experience it so yeah um aww yeah thanks for being here Blanco as well as everyone else here so, let's see, who am I gonna send you guys to? Um. Let's see, alright. Actually, okay. <laughs> it looks like she's live again tonight. Okay, yeah, we visited we've visited her quite a few times, but I'm gonna send you guys on over to Miyamara again tonight because it looks like she's grinding a lot of Monster Hunter Rise. So let's see. Yeah, that's another game I really want to get into at some point. Um, okay, let's see. Same, yeah. Especially with the new, like, Sunbreak DLC coming out. Alright. Alrighty, guys. So go ahead and hop on to the raid. I'm gonna send over some Gabby Gab's good vibes her way. So, yeah. Um, and then tomorrow... I think we'll get back into some more Okami. So be looking forward to that. And yeah. Until next time. See you guys later.